Hello, Mrs. Draper. My name is Aaron Levinsky. I'm an attorney sent here by the court. Mr. Middleton doesn't represent you anymore. Would you like to discuss your case? I'm not sure if you can follow any of this, but do you understand that I'm going to be going to the court on your behalf? And uh, tonight, i got to go home to Brooklyn on the subway, and that scares the hell out of me, because I've had a hell of a day. Aw, you're breaking my heart. Terrific, she can talk. Yeah, I can talk. I can dance, juggle, do card tricks. What kind of a show do I have to put on for you? Did I say something wrong? Well, it just seems like I can't stand trial unless I'm putting on a show for who now? Aaron Levinsky, Legal Aid. No, it's not like that. No? Well, then how do I get to stand trial? Well, first you're going to have to prove the court. How do I get to stand trial? That's what I want to know. It's okay. Close the door, please. I'm returning. Who says? Says the court. If you need me, I'll be out here. Thank you. Do you think I'm going to need him? Well, haven't you heard? I like to lash out and strike people at random. Yeah, I know. I was there. I think you broke his nose. Then I guess the day wasn't a total loss. <laughs> so, now what we have here is a 730 process. That's the process where we're going to stay. Married? Married? <laughs> Excuse me? Got a missus? Yeah. She, uh, give good head? Do you want to talk about your case here or what? You're being indicted for manslaughter in the first degree. I know why I'm here. Why are you here? You want the truth? No, Levinsky. The bullshit. I love listening to the bullshit, especially when I'm drowning in it. You're here because I'm crazy, right? Nope. You want to see just how crazy I am, right? Well, two psychiatrists already say that you're incompetent. Arantes and Morrison? Frick and frack. Arantes can barely speak English, and Morrison is kind of a weird guy. You know, I flashed him and he didn't even look. What about you, Levinsky? Are you weird, too? Well, I must be okay, because I'm looking. Oh, your mother told me to tell you she loves you. Fuck my mother. Why didn't you tell me you were working for her? I'm not working for them. Why didn't you tell me? Listen, lady, I came here to do my job in good faith. You talk to my mother. Listen to me, you've got a choice here. You gotta cooperate with me and maybe this all goes your way, or you can yell at me, in which case I sign the motion to commit, and then that will be that. You creep lawyers, you're all the same. As long as you get your fee, you don't give a shit about what happens to who and for how long. Lady, I'm not getting paid here. Oh, no, this one's saying if I don't kiss his ass, he'll walk. Get out! No, thank you, it doesn't work that way. I'm stuck with you. Man, oh man. So the first thing that we should do is get a shrink in here to take a look at you. Wrong. No more shrinks. Lady, I'm giving you some very good legal advice here. Oh, well, thank you very much. You know what I say about attorneys? That goes double for shrinks. Mrs. Draper, there are two psychiatrists that say that you're crazy. Now, you need at least one psychiatrist to say that you're not crazy or you don't have a case. Sure I do. I have my own case. I get up there, I say my thing, and I show everybody that I'm competent. Listen, I don't know if you believe me or not, but I'm a perfectly sane woman. And I don't bother nobody that don't bother me first, you get it? And I don't need any more shrinks wrapping around my head talking about my toilet training. There's only one thing that scares me. And that's a stupid client. And you terrify me. Have you ever testified in court before? No. So you've never been cross-examined, so you don't know what it's like? No. How long have you been hooking? Three years. Okay, three years and you've never been caught? No. Now tell me I'm incompetent. <laughs> well, you know, Mrs. Draper, it just doesn't look good for you to beat the shit out of one of the top attorneys in the city, I'm just saying. Well, it may not look good. It sure felt good. What was I supposed to do? Act like a good little girl? My own attorney told me I wasn't competent enough to stand trial? Are you? How competent does one have to be for Christ's sake? That's a good point. Okay, so what do we just say for the moment that you're not entirely incompetent? Yeah, 
Let's say that. And let's say for the moment that the doctors here are all wrong. Let's say that too. Then why is this happening to you? Mrs. Draper, do you want me to represent you in this competency hearing? I don't know. Are you good? Oh, no, you had good. Now you got this guy. Well, I guess I could do worse. Don't be so sure. If you win this hearing, you get a trial. But if you lost the trial, then you could go to jail for 25 years. I'll risk it. Otherwise, I'll end up in this bathrobe until I collect Social Security. <laughs> McNally's going to eat me alive. Okay, so when we, uh, when we go back to the beginning, let's get some background details. Well, you talk to me and pretend like I'm sane, okay? Okay. And I'll do the same for you. Okay. Well, thank you. 